So I would just want to notify you that if you speak English and another language, please help me with the subtitles because I've got also viewers who are not really good in English and I cannot do subtitles all the time and it will be glad if you could do so. I really appreciate the help of my community and yeah, let's get over to the main video. Yes, yes everyone, it's Vlad's Boredom and welcome to my newest video. Um, today I've got a little surprise for you. I don't know if you can imagine what I prepared for you, but we are outside, we're near to my house and I wanted to show you something very interesting. Let's see what it is. This is my daily ride, or as I really love to call it, my daily bitch. Let's check it out. So, let's get in. The car is so far open. This is the door. And here, you see it is an S-line model. S-line seats. And S-line wheel. It has 104,377 kilometers and let's check what it has as well. This is the mirror with lighting. Here as well, the rear view mirror, the radio. And climate con and dual zone climate control with heated front heated seats, ashtray. Here should be the cigarette lighter, but here's my phone charger, auxiliary input, and you see I've got here plenty of cables. I'm usually listening my music via my phone. And charging up my phone with the USB and it is very convenient because I really need that stuff this here I've got my some of my stuff and here is the service booklet here inside I've got my CDs my parking disc and chewing gum here are my cup holders I've just had an energy drink this is my uh, middle armrest compartment, which, can, which is also reclinable. And here on my wheel, radio controls. This is for um, voice commands, but my car doesn't support voice commands. And let's have a look around the rest of the car here are the here's here are the electric windows front and back and the electric mirrors but but only heated and adjustable but not uh, reclinable window lock door handle so let's get into the back of the car Here's the power window. Um, again, S-line indicator. And as you can see, it has still plenty of space left. Let's get in. As you can see, uh, when I adjusted it on my, on my size, I've got space. I got pretty much space in the back and I'm um, as I said in the in my 10 facts about me video I'm 178 or 5 foot 10 in English measurement uni units and I fit perfectly fine and from headroom I'm going to show it now with the headroom it is all right but because I've got here my pillows in the back it is, it is a bit different, but uh, a person who is about 190 can fit in this 
seat very comfortable. As you can see, it is fine. No complaint at all. The middle seat, it unfortunately doesn't have a central armrest and no cup holders, what I really, really hate. And the only thing what you have here in the back is an ash ashtray and a small storage area and storage seat pockets. And you don't have the and you don't have any side compartments in the doors. And for that, that the car looks actually very small, it is still spacious. Well, as you can see, I've got here a flag. This is the flag of Malta. I cover it uh, my my uh, boot cover with it because it it looks pretty perfect for a flag. And on this place, I really want to say hello to my friend Sergey from Malta. I greet you on this place. And this is the rest of my boot. It is pretty big, I must say, for this kind of car. I even got a mat where below is a carpet and this is with the Audi A3 logo. Here I got some towels, some bags, even a windshield cover, another flag. Before I forget, you can put uh, the seats down. Well, you can fold them for 60-40 but I usually don't do that because I don't have any big items to carry but it is still convenient to do so and also here are, my, here are the parking sensors I only got them in the back and let's close the boot I fuel my car with uh, gasoline 95 octane and sometimes I do it also with 100 but only if I have spare money but so, but I don't do it very often, so <laughs> yeah. And as you can see, the, I've got plenty of stickers on my car. Let's get into the passenger side. As you can see here in the front, I do have side compartments. This one is actually empty. I don't store here, I only store on the other side. Here also window controls. And what I really like about this car is I have the Bose sound system. I'm giving you a sound example as soon as I can. Check it out. The bass is great, I really love it. And yeah, just as the other uh, as the other seats, the, the driver's seat, it has powered pillows right in the seat inside, but the rest of the seat is manual, seat height, seat back with the wheel, and the seat position, air vent, storage pocket, and what I also really like about this car is I've got here a compartment, below the seats, but here I didn't store anything, so perfect for a weapon if you have one, or for something else, or maybe for a bottle, it really depends what you need. I've got automatic lights, they're off, auto, lights, front light, uh, front and rear fog lights, but I leave them usually at auto because I've got also uh, LED daylights. And so, here's the key. I put the foil on it and here are my key rings. So, put it in here. As you can see, 8 degrees. Really nice startup. And let's open up, or better said, pop the hood and see how it looks like.
I got the 2.0 liter TFSI engine with 200 horsepower. It is a six speed manual, front wheel drive, and the average fuel consumption is 7.5 liters. And I, I own this car already for over a half a year since February 2017. And so far I haven't had any problems with this engine or with the car in general. And let's have a look how the engine makes noise. All right, let's turn off the car, pull out the key and close it. This is the gear lever, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and for reverse, put it, press it down, go to the left and up. This is the handbrake. That was it with my video, I hope you really enjoyed it. Um, I packed my stuff together and the reason why I ended it up in my garage is because there is a stupid moron right below where I filmed it, nearby my house, there is another house and there is it was around a 70 year old man who said that it is a disgrace what I'm doing here like I'm wasting too much electricity and you know what he can take that one I don't give it I don't give a damn me and my friends are or better said me and my fans and my friends well I don't say fans I say my viewers and here right in the back there is this house and I filmed right back in back there and the thing is, I really don't want to get into trouble, but he messed with me, and if he does it another time, and I don't believe that it will be the last time I've filmed down there. I haven't done anything wrong, and it is just 7 p.m., and you know what? He can go to hell. I don't give a fuck. And on this place, I, before I say goodbye, I will do very soon another video because I got this beauty here. Just picked it up today from my local electronic shop because I pre uh, because I ordered it ordered it. Let's see how it will end. And so you can expect that there will be very soon another video with an unboxing and playing it video. So on this occasion I really want to say goodbye. Leave a like, subscribe me, and see you the next time. Bye-bye.